Now I had this other terminology that we had on there, which is a dilution series. And, um, and this um, dilution series, where they have the same components but at different concentrations. So at a stock, in the lab we used a dye. Right. And we had um, three tubes. Right. And here we took one male into that one. 0 0.2 mils into this one and 0 0.1 mil in to that one. To this one we added 9 mils. So we had 1 to 1 plus 9 or a 1 to 10. Okay. This one we brought up to 10 mils again so we had to add 9.8 mils. Okay, so, yeah. so in this case, yeah, so that gives us, you know, point two tenths to point two plus nine point eight, which is going to give us a one to fifty dilution. So that. 0.2 mils is one fiftieth of the ten mils. So we can see then in this one where you've got one tenth, we'd have to add 9.9 .9 mils. So in this case, we've got 0.1 over 0.1 plus mil plus 9.9 .9 mils. So that's going to be one to hundred mils. So there's one tenth to a hundred. So that's a one to a hundred dilution. So they're related and they are all in this case coming from the stock. And so there are series that we're uh, uh, making uh, these um, components. So in this case it's just terminology but it's related um, to our third group. And this is a form you'll see used often in the lab. Serial dilutions. Okay. This is a series of dilutions. Which have the same dilution. factor. Now, up in this dilution series, which we just did, we had a factor of 10 and a factor of 50 and 100. They were all dilutions of the same stock, but they had different dilution factors. So in our serial dilution, right, we're going to set these up so that they all have the same dilution factor. So, like I say, you can find this on your lab sheet. Okay. So hopefully you've read it and you may already understand it. Okay. Okay. So we have these set of tubes here. We're going to say that each one of these tubes has one male in it. And we're going to move one mil from this tube into this tube, which is going to bring it up to two mils initially, but then we're going to mix it up well, get it a homogeneous mixture, and then move one mil from that tube to the next. We'll do the same thing. We'll mix it well and move 
a mill to the next tube, repeat mill after we mix it, and then finally here we'll move a mill from there. So this is a serial dilution. Each one is diluted from the previous dilution into the next one. So we're seeing this one mill plus one mill is a one to two, right? Next dilution is also one to two, because it's one plus one is one to two, but it is a dilution of a one to two, so now it's really a one to four. We can put this one, it's concentration of one to two. So the concentration of this tube is one fourth what it was in the original tube, because it's one half of this one half. So then we're going to do another one to two, but now that's going to be one eighth, right? So we see the same thing going on. Each, we were repeating the same dilution factor. In this case, the dilution factor is two. So each, you can see, is getting, or um, denominator is doubling. So we go one half, one fourth, whoops, one eighth, then one sixteenth, and then one thirty second. So in, by doing these sets of serial dilution, we've gone from our undiluted sample here in the first tube to a 1 to 32 dilution. So the concentration of the, what we're diluting, our stock here in tube 1, right, is 1 32nd, right, or we could say that it's a 32-fold, right, total dilution, that's supposed to be 32, right? And the other thing we can say that this is a two-fold serial dilution. So the terminology tells us that it's a serial dilution because we're doing these a series of two-fold dilution. So in this case, our definition says that it has the same dilution factor. In this case, the dilution factor is two. Right? So let's just do another um, quick example here um, to just show another one. So here we've got another set of tubes. In this case, we have our stock here in this first tube. Right? And then we have our serial dilution going on where we have nine mils in each one and we're moving one mil across, mixing it. So there, nine plus one, right? One, so that's a one to 10. Now, we're, after we mix it, we're gonna take one mil of that. And other words, we'll only have nine mils of that left since we're taking one mil away. But the concentration is based on that one plus the nine. So we're taking one into this nine, so it's one right here again, plus the nine with one, so we've got another one-tenth, but this is what, one-tenth over one-tenth, so that's gonna be one to a hundred. Likewise, we take one mil over, so we've got another one to 10, but since it's one to 10 of a one to 10, it'd be another tenfold, which there from 100 would now be one to a thousand. And here again, another one to 10, would give us one to 10,000. Okay. And then here are one to 10 would be one to a hundred thousand. Now, we um, have other ways to, to write this. Okay, so we've got one to 10. We could just write this one to 10 square. We could write this one, 
Hold on. The ten cubed, cubed, one over ten to the fourth, or one over ten to the fifth. All right. So, you know, so this is kind of a, a better way of writing it and having those two zeros and those are equivalent. Um, a, um, another way that we can write this without the fractional form is we can say that's 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, 10 to the negative 3, 10 to the minus 4, 10 to the minus 5. So if you remember your thing about negative exponents, right, those are equivalent. One tenth is 10 to the 1. So if you see, in this case, 10 to the minus 2, it's the same thing as 1 over 10 to the plus 2. Okay? So these are all ways of writing that. In this case, this is a serial 10-fold dilution. So in this case, from our undiluted concentration, which we're saying one, by doing one, two, three, four, five dilutions, we've gotten a 100,000-fold dilution of this stop. So it's another tool. It's an, a frequently used tool um, in um, um, doing that. So if you um, um, let me get this thing to go up here. Okay. Want to know what your final concentration is, right? Or after your dilution, your final concentration. Right, is equal to your starting concentration times your dilution. For instance, if you had a concentration we had there on the paper of glucose, say 1 over 1 plus 9 is a 1 to 10 dilution, then we would say 4 grams per mil times 1 tenth is equal to 0 0.4 grams per mil. Okay? And um, that seems reasonable. 0.4 gram is a tenth, right? of four grams. So by diluting it tenfold, we've got one-tenth the concentration. Let me... I don't know what that... Oh, line is there. Let me get that worked out. That's one over one plus nine equals one over ten. Let me get that there. Okay, so that's um, kind of a, a, a lot of um, information there. Like I say, it's in your book, it's in the lab, and you've uh, hopefully done a lab on this so you get a notion of what's going on with um, dilutions. But this is kind of, uh, kind of went, I wanted to go over the information on that sheet with you to kind of verbally explain 
what's going on with that. And that will conclude this um, kind of introduction and, and deletions. And um, I'll set up another video uh, to talk about solutions. Thanks for listening.